this video, we are going to look at the software for the resin printer. Now we're using a Formlabs resin printer, so our software is through them, and it's actually called Preform. So you can go to formlabs.com software and download the Preform software right from here. It's free. It's for both Mac and Windows. So we'll be using it on Windows today. Now when the software opens up, this is what it's going to look like at first. This box will pop up with your printer. If you have your printer already set up, great. If not, you can change this at a later time. Here's our workspace. Let's import a file. Okay, there we go. So when your file is highlighted blue, that means it's selected and you can move them around. However, let's start up over here with the different views. So you go from the back, the top, the side. You can zoom in and zoom out. And if you hold down your right mouse key, you can also move him around like that. Okay, so that's right there. Next, again, this is the printer, which you can change at any time. Now let's go to the details of the prints. Print time, this print will take around two hours. It'll be 419 layers, and the volume of resin used is 9.77 milliliters. This is something that you will want to keep an eye on if you're doing prints for patrons and you're charging. Usually this is what you use to calculate how much you're going to charge for a print. Next up is printability. So as you can see right now, this would not print out very well on the printer as it is. So we're going to go over here, and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now first up is the scaling or the size. This is probably what you're going to be using the most. Sometimes uh, files confuse millimeters and um, inches. <laughs> so you might get a file that comes in really big like this, and you'll have to scale it down to a more manageable size. Next up is orientation. Now in an advanced settings, you can do this manually yourself. However, for this, just a very basic overview, uh, we're going to hit or auto orient, which is really nice, and it does it for you. So this is actually the way that it will print out best when um, he's situated like that. Okay, so he's oriented correctly. Now, next up, let's look at the supports. Obviously, this is going to need supports on the build plate because right now he's kind of floating in midair. Again, you can do these manually. However, there is auto generate. So let's do that for, again, just the basics. This should be more than enough for most prints that you're going to get. Uh, finally, this is actually a really great feature if you're going to be printing out duplicates. Say you're printing something for a program and you're going to give away a bunch. You can print them all out at once. So you pick how many you want to make at one time. Hit create and it duplicates them all. Again, so you can see this one's highlighted red, so this one would not print out at all. He's kind of hanging off the edge there. But you can hit layout all up here. It'll move them around so that they're all in the best possible place to be printed, and you could even print out some more. Okay, so now that we have them oriented and supported, if we go back over here and look at printability, you can see they're all green thumbs up. This is our little print icon, so we would click on that again if you need to change your printer, if you need to add your printer, however you need to do it. You do that here, and then you would hit upload job. So now I kind of went back and we have him here again. Now you can see he's not supported, he's not oriented. Again, the printability is like this. And another option that you can do is actually hit this one click print, set up your print and it does the orientation and the supports in one click. Again, right now you can see that the printability has a thumbs down, so it would not print out on the resin printer as it is until it gets these supports and orientation, and then this pops right up. Again, check to make sure that's all right, and hit upload job. And that's it, you're good to go. So that is a brief overview of the preform software for the resin printer.